I'm excited to have the chance to visit my grandfather's old physics lab in Rome, where he did his Nobel Prize winning work in the 1930s. The lab is being transformed into a museum called Centro Fermi. My guides today are both particle physicists. Rinaldo Baldini is the director of Centro Fermi and my cousin, Giorgio Capone. It's really cool to be here today on September 29th, 2011, which is the 110th anniversary of Enrico's birth. And given the state of the construction, I think we're the first visitors, or among the first visitors, and we're exploring the story of how the elements were bombarded in, at one end of the hall, perhaps in this room, and then at the other end of the hall they did their measurements. Now we can imagine that, since we don't know for sure which room, we can imagine that he had some elements here that he was yes, bombarding uh, with what, slow uh, neutrons. What, they had the samples to be irradiated with the neutrons in one room, and uh, they had the counters in another room because they should not interfere. And the firm and collaboration did run from, the, from this room maybe to the other room because the radioactivity induced by neutrons would decay very fast. So they had to, to run to, to see the signal. And uh, you know that once uh, a visitor comes, I would like to see this professor, his excellence, uh, Fermi, and uh, so a man uh, running with something in his hands. Yeah. <laughs> right. the other end of the building, and this is where they have the, the Geiger counter to measure the radioactivity from the, ra from the decaying isotope, isotopes. You want to make me to run? <laughs> no, 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 let's say, let's suppose now we've run down the hall, uh, and here we are, uh, where perhaps the... Uh, the measurement were, were done. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. So now we're on the top floor of the original building, and it's here where Professor Corbino had his office, and he was a proponent of my grandfather's work, and the two of them would strategize about the future of physics in Italy. So pretty much every day, I think, Enrico came to his office up here and they would talk, and then right down below he was doing his experiments on the floor just underneath here. So they maintained a very close, warm, strategically very positive relationship. Oh, there's a goldfish pond. That's the goldfish pond, right? La Fontana. Si. Però da sotto si vede il genere. Va bene, da sotto. Ah, ok. Enrico and his colleagues discovered that slow neutrons bombarding elements with slow neutrons caused more reactions. Because the neutron was going slowly, the probability of a reaction was greater. And they first discovered it when Enrico had the intuition to put paraffin between the source of the neutrons and the element that he was bombarding. And then, then he said, oh, well, let's see what happens with water. So then they ran down to the goldfish pond and did the experiment with the poor goldfish there and no adequate protection and but the thing is it worked they still got uh, a very great result because the water did act as a moderator similarly as paraffin
And will they put the water back after yeah, the after reconstruction? The end, yes, the end of the uh, three years from now. Then there'll be the water and the goldfish <laughs> <laughs> with mutations. <laughs> 1934, Al Junio, 1936, in Physico Enrico Fermi, e i suoi collaboratori. Il controllo dell'energia nucleare. Happy birthday, Nonno.